Once home to making Ford Transit vans, the Southampton factory is now a shell of its former self. Hundreds of jobs were lost in a shock closure almost six months ago, and despite efforts to prevent it, plans went ahead. Chains were wrapped around gates and barbed wire tops the fences. The factory now resembles something more like a prison. Former shop steward at the plant for 33 years, Bill Chandler explains the impact six months on in the lead up to Christmas. It gave you know, unskilled people an opportunity to be able to earn a good living, be able to buy houses um, and provide a good living for the children. I feel sorry for the young people who, uh, who didn't get the opportunity to earn the kind of living that I've had. They will have to somehow make it in life and um, I know some of them have done temporary work in the docks um, but what we're looking at, we're looking at the end of permanent employment. A keen photographer, Bill wanted to be there on the last day of production. I wanted to record the, um, the momentous occasion of a plant that had been open for 60 years, uh, almost as long as I've been alive, um, and I wanted to see how, how, how a lot of my work friends were, were coping with this. How were they? Well, some of them were very tearful, um, not, not in front of me, but um, they were devastated. They were in the middle of their working life. They still have their children um, and the responsibility of their children going to university. They want to see the very best for their families, but they don't believe I've found anybody at the moment that has earned anywhere near the money that they were earning in Ford Money Company. No, there is no security in life now. So are, are you worried for your own pension? Oh yeah, yeah, I think we all are. I think we're extremely worried about it. We can't do anything about it. Um, and we would, we would love to, you know, to think that we're, we're all going to have a much more secure um, future. But I, I am worried, extremely worried about that. To people like Bill, the job was more than just a livelihood. It was a lifeline, but now it's little more than a sign behind a fence. Harry Parkhill, Winchester News Online.